<laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Nate and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Rend. Yeah, I said on the uh, dispatch, maybe last weekend or the weekend before, I was looking at this game and I would send him an email and guess what? They got back to me. So we are going to boot this baby up. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure what to expect, really. But we got a bunch of servers here. Some official, some unofficial. Uh, nothing in Asia, really, except for this one. <laughs> this is the one Asian server that they have. So maybe we'll play on it. It doesn't seem like there's really anybody online on it, which is unfortunate. It's 11.30 p.m. currently, so... There should be, like, you know, some some late-night fellas, but, oh well. I guess I'll jump into this uh, North America Alpha server, and we'll see what it do. What it do? There seems to be a good amount of members and stuff like that hanging around it in here. Uh, you start out as, like, a lady. A lady in some underwear. So if you're into that, you could stay a lady, or you could uh, become a man. A manly man. Damn, I look so manly. Wow. Look at me. He's got a small wiener. <laughs> um, so you got three factions that you can pick from. You've got the uh, Mysterious Revenant, the Enlightened Conclave, and the Militaristic Order, which doesn't really have an effect on things as far as I can tell. So uh, it don't matter none too much what you pick. I guess I'll go Revenant just to keep the factions sort of even. I don't want to uh, jump into Conclave or Order, because they each have 12 members. So I'll jump into Revenant, because they only have 8, and hopefully uh, help them out just a little bit. Only thing that really changes is your back tattoos and your arm tattoos, uh, as far as I can tell. So, Revenant, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll rock it. And I'm liking my, my beard and shit. I'm liking my abs, too. Ooh. Um... That's, like, super pale. Am I that pale? I don't know. I think I might be. Still sexy with no suntan. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's all right. I, I won't lie to myself and make myself dark. I'll be like, all right, we good. And then my hair is probably like that or like that. Uh, yeah, I'll go with that. This is, like, anime hair, you know? I don't really have anime hair. I don't put gel in it or nothing. So there we go. We'll, we'll rock that one there. And uh, I don't have the, the beard with the chin puff, but maybe that'll work. I've got to ascend in order to unlock these other facial features. So I guess that's the closest to what I got. Little chin puff. You know what I'm talking about. And hair color. Hmm, is it blonde? Is it white? It really is a brown, but like a lighter brown. Yeah, like that. That's that's the one. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. So let's be, uh... Dayton, because I'm extremely unclever. We'll join up. We'll join up in the server. We'll see what it do. Just wanted to showcase a little bit of character creation, because I know that can make or break an RPG for a lot of people. For me, it's kind of just incidental, you know what I mean? As long as the weapons and clothing that you have show up, I don't care what the character under all that looks like, you know? Um, this game does apparently have, like, classes, sort of, at least from what I could tell on the, uh, the website. You're supposed to build a fortress, defend said fortress from fallen creatures, and then you will sacrifice the souls of those fallen creatures to the god at that. That is the world tree. World tree, my god. And right now, uh, you can see we've got basically nothing. This meter is gonna fill up slowly but surely. And then I think once you get that meter all full, you get to like ascend, which I don't know what it really does aside from unlocking a few new facial features. But uh, yeah, here's a campfire. Got some charcoal. I'll take some charcoal. This is so rust-like, but it's made by Blizzard, so I assume that there's going to be some different stuff. And what do we do in most survival games to start? Kids? Punch a tree! That's right! So we're going to punch this tree, get some rough wood sticks, and uh, I 
guess that's working just fine. We got probably a crafting menu. There it is. On C, as it should be. We need fiber twine from raw fibers. So I'm not getting those from the tree. How about from this bush? Anything in here for me? Yeah. Nice. Much raw fiber. Ooh. I want even more. Give me all of the fiber. So much fiber to help me poop. Yes. Alright, so now the bush is kind of falling apart a little bit more. Oh, and now I'm walking? Am I, like, overburdened? Well, shit. Alright, fiber twine. Make it. Done. Spirit hatchet. Make it. Cool, so you're a lumberjack now. Left click and right click harvest different materials from the same resource. You can use Q to bring up the tool selection radial. Interesting. So left click and right click will harvest different things. I, I don't understand how, how that works. I'd like to make a spirit mallet, but we need to get some uh, sap. So let's get this, this axe out. This hatchet. Oh look, people is actually talking up in the chat. That's so nice. Hey, everybody. It's me, everybody. So what's right-click do for this tree? Gives you logs. Okay, I guess that makes sense. How about left-click? Branches and sap. That is a pretty interesting idea, if you were to ask me. Let's go ahead and make a mallet. We can probably smash up some rocks with this baby. Raw fiber, fiber twine. So we need a lot of, uh... A lot of bushes, flint, fiber twine, rough wood log to make a pick. What's the difference between a mallet and a pick? Hmm, many questions. Yes. Well, I'm going to pull out my mallet, I suppose. And let's check out this, this rock. Da dink, da dink, crumble stone, rock salts. And a level! Hey, I'm over here now. Okay, left click is to get the flint. So basically, yeah. The direction that you're swinging is what the rock yields. Sweet! Super sweet! So we got some flint, I just need to find that bush again. And make some twine. And I am lagging just a little bit, but... The frame rate is surprisingly good. So, let's go over here. My reticule is not looking very nice. Maybe the hatchet? Nope. The hatchet also does not give me the different reticule. So you have to have bare fists in order to harbor, harvest raw fiber from these bushes. I guess that's that makes sense, you know? You can't harvest the fiber with the axe. You know, you gotta have a, a ginger touch. Let's just harvest all of this. Give me this. I need this right now. Alright. Look at that. I'm gonna get another level. Ooh, baby! That feels good. That feels real nice. Let's go ahead and make a spirit pick. Hello? Missing resources. Maybe it's the fiber twine. There we go! Give me a pick. Simple bow. We need another twine. And then I can make a bow. Oh, yes. I need some arrows. I need some construction hammer. Oh, there's so much stuff that I need. Tensile vine dross metal. Where the hell am I supposed to find that? Well, let's make some rough arrows, I guess. Hmm. Learning through failure. Sometimes your crafts might fail, break, yielding worse quality or less items, but don't worry. Breaks give bonus experience to that crafting recipe. Your break chance will reduce as you become more skilled at a recipe. So, did that bow that I make, is that like a shitty one? This doesn't seem like it will last long at all. Yeah, okay. So I made a crappy bow. We need to get some more sticks. I guess. I do suppose. Was that just from punching the trees? I think I have to punch the trees in order to get sticks. If I chop it with the axe, then I end up with a, uh, a branch. So give me sticks. One stick. Wow, that's just, just fucking outstanding. All right, four sticks. We're doing great. We're, we're, we're making progress. A little bit of headway, gentlemen. 
And I can't do anything with the bigger trees. Yeah. I gotta punch the little tiny trees. Eat them up. Oh. There's a piggy wig. Hey, piggy wig. You raggedy looking motherfucker. What are you doing over here? This my side of town, huh? Huh? Go home. Go home. Say hi to your mother for me, huh? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I'm shifting into uh, the Nick character for my new Vegas roleplay. Which, if you haven't checked that out, I would be highly grateful to you for doing so. But yeah, this is uh, the beginning. The very beginnings. And I'm extremely excited for Rend. I gotta be quite honest. I'm not really into uh, MMOs or survival games. However, this is this is looking pretty tasty. Tasty, tasty. Let's see what a pig will do for this thing. Nothing. Nothing. What, what do you What do you want from me? What do you want from me? All right, let's make some more arrows. How's that? You got eight sticks left. Uh, get my flimsy bow. Try and kill something. What? Oh shit! Oh god, it's a wolf! I didn't think... <laughs> uh, I thought it was a pig. I was not paying attention, and I should have been. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh, shit! Why would this happen to me? Come on, man. I didn't mean it. I don't want it to be like this. It had a pet rating on it, so I assume that you can catch catch animals and enslave them. Which that could be pretty nice. Alright. That wolf seems to have leashed back to where where he come from. So I can continue collecting sticks. One, two, buck on my shoe. Five, six, pick up sticks. Nine, ten, get some more sticks. Yay! What is that thing? I'm so scared to shoot anything now. This this has uh, been a terrifying experience for me. There's some more players over here. Hey, are you on my team? Yeah, we got the same tattoos. That's how you know we're on the same team, right? Yeah, look at our tattoos, boy. Oh, here's some melons. I've got a hunger and a thirst meter in the lower left there, so I assume that's going to come into play at some point. Oh, no, we're okay, pig. We're cool. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some melons over here. And these melons do basically nothing for my hunger or thirst meter. It does heal me up a little bit, though, so, so that's a good thing. But maybe I need some more arrows. I'm going to take on bigger and better prey. Hmm, yes. Alright, so how many do I have now? Is it going to tell me? 15. I got 15! Let's see if we can do something. Kill a pig? You, do we want to get brave all of a sudden? I guess so. Oh, it's level 2. I see. So you've got a level, do you? And I crit him. Ho ho ho! Yes! Fear me! Or I am the great hunter! I just kind of follow him and shoot him in the ass. Am I going to run out of arrows? We're, we're going through them pretty quick. Dead. Looks like meat's back on the menu. Creatures are a great source of meat and other materials. You can use any harvesting tool to get resources. Okay. Hatchet sounds good. Ribs. Ribs. Oh my god. That was it? Two ribs? Boars have way more ribs than that. It sucks, man. Alright. Makes more arrows, I guess. I thought I would have gotten at least some of the arrows back. Or I wouldn't have committed myself to all of that. Critical success. Sometimes your crafts might critically succeed, granting bonus items or higher quality items. Your critical chance will increase as your skill in a recipe improves. Okay. That's good to, good to note. We can make a torch now with log, flint, and fiber twine. Campfire with some logs, flint, and crumble stone. But yeah, I seem to always be short their eye inventory. I get it. Hmm. 
I hear something going on in my in my left ear. Right in my ear. Right in my ear. Rock salt, sticky sap. I need more sticks. More sticks, please. I guess crumble stone and whatever couldn't hurt either. Rough logs. It seems that I do have a weight in the uh, the lower left as well, but what does it do? I don't really know. It doesn't seem anything at the moment, so I'm just going to pretend like it doesn't exist. How about that? <laughs> hearth melon morsels. Mm. I like a hearth melon. I assume. I don't know. Oh, you scared me, bruh. You just, you just chopping stuff up? I want to try and chop stuff too. Oh, you do get sticks with the with the hatchet. It is better. All right. Well, we'll just do that from now on. Let's see how nicely we learn from other players. I'm just like you're on my team, right? You don't have to tell me anything. I don't know what these debuffs are in the corner. I've got rancid stench and bloody backpack. I do have a rancid stench. I've been out here almost, uh, like an hour. <laughs> and that's as long as it takes to get a stench. A nice hearty stench going. Oh, and I broke my bow. Fart, man. I knew that bow wasn't going to last long, but it really didn't last long. Alright, so let's make another, I suppose. Yeah. Got all the stuff I need. Spark of Genius Adventuring. What is that? Mysticism? I don't understand what this is. A stroke of insight that can be used to research new technologies. But how? But why? Hmm. Many more mysteries here. Where did that pig that I was shooting go? Hello? Piggy wig? Where have you gone, little friend? I've got more business with you! Runic Obelisk. A mirror of our world exists. You can cross over into the spirit realm for brief periods, but as you spend time there, you will accumulate spirit sickness. You may be able to tame the spirits of creatures while in the spirit realm, but beware the dangerous lost that haunt the other side. Ooh. Spoopy. Alright. Well, I don't even know how to how to get there at the moment. I don't know nothing. Dropped items. Yeah, decaying meat. That's what I want. Yeah, I'm just gonna add my decaying meat to your decaying meat, and I hope that will uh, <clears throat> yield some sort of karma for me. Let's get more sticks. That's what I really need. Sticks. Everyone, give me the sticks. I still don't really know what the pick is for. Is it for like bigger rocks? Hmm, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Let's get some flint. I guess as we level up, we'll be uh, able to craft more things. So yeah, levels. That's that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Getting thirsty? Find a watering hole. Oh god! <laughs> or pick some melons. Well, first I gotta get away from this wolf. I assume it's a wolf. Please leave me alone. Attack that pig. Oh god, he's right behind me. It hurts. Ow. Please stop. Please stop this. Oh god. Is he gone? Shh. I went the wrong way, son. Doesn't seem like there is a map or anything, so um, I'm going to have to find a watering hole. Is this a watering hole? Yeah, F to drink. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Look at me go. There's another level. Check me out, meow. Stone cutting skill up. Excellent. Super duper. Neato. Right on, gang. And I can't pick these melons with anything but my hands. Of course. Of course. That that makes complete sense. I'm gonna have to, uh... 
cook some meat or something at some point. Oh, and it also now looks like uh, my weight is slowly going up, so... Stone. Stone weighs a lot. Somebody write that down. Write that down! If you're gonna pick up a lot of rocks, it's gonna be very heavy! Alright, cool. Moving on. More sparks of genius. That's gonna be nice. There's a lot of stuff going on in the chat up there, but I am not uh, looking at it, so... If there's some relevant information, I would appreciate somebody <laughs> commenting and being like, Hey, they said this. It seems relevant. And I'd be like, oh yeah, probably. Got campfire. Where do I get dross metal and tensile, tensile vine? Interesting. I need to make some clothes. That's probably why I can't fight these wolves off. Give me the rough weave shirt. I need more fiber? I need more twine. Okay, make the pants. I just need pants for right now. How about that? Cool! And I put my pants on automatically. Just like I do every morning. Alright. So I think I'm gonna need a lot of fiber. Here's the shirt. Very nice. And then we just need the shoes. Which, uh, how much twine do I have? 43? Okay. Then we can make the shoes, I think. We need six. Six fiber twines. We good? Yeah, we good. Check me out, meow. I'm looking spiffy. Spirit sickle? That, that seems kind of cool, too. Can I make that? Can I make that? What is that? Oh, now I can harvest souls. Harvest souls! I don't... I don't know what it does. Rough wood stick. Okay. I skilled up in my woodcraft. And I'm able to get raw fiber from, uh, sickling the plants. I guess that makes sense. A sickle is also used for harvesting plants, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not like a, a super sickle guy. Oh god, no! Fucking wolf! They're always after me. They're always after me lucky charms. Oh. Oh, I call out to the saints of the... What was this place called? <laughs> now I am bleeding. Awesome. You can remove this wound by using a bandage. Yeah, so easy. Piece of cake. Just use a bandage, bro. Why? You don't know how to use a bandage? What, are you fucking new to this game? Yeah! Matter of factly, I don't know if you, uh, if you recognize my, my newness. Rough fiber bandage. We need a gold poppy petal. Oh god. Where am I supposed to get that? That was probably those little yellow flowers that were on the ground, but I harvested them all for, uh, fiber. So I'm probably gonna end up bleeding to death. Because the wound is deep. Oh, it's deep. It's a deep burn. Oh. And that pig is thankfully not mad at me. Stag's wood. I'm sure there's a map or something that I'm supposed to be uh, looking at. Isn't there? I have no idea. I'm just proud of myself for crafting pants. That's a victory for me, isn't it? Hooray, everybody, we have pants! There's another wolf. Level 6. Good lord. What's my level? Level 4. Much as I suspected, says so on the character sheet. Um, put this away, please. Can we harvest this flower? It's not a gold flower, but I just need something to make a fucking bandage so I don't die. Anyone, anyone at all. It's not gonna happen. It is not going to happen. We need to go back. Back to the future. Back to where we was. Stand in the place where you were. Stand in the place where you were. I just need to break a bow so I can, like, craft a better one. Or do I just gather the materials and craft a bunch of bows and then... And then I win. 
Because my bow is amazing. Yeah, here they are. Here's some of them things. Vita root gold poppy petals. Alright, so you don't want to right click on this. You want to get that left click going, harvest some of them petals, and then uh, make bandages. Probably going to need quite a few of these. But I'm out of fiber, so good enough. <sighs> ah, that's a bandage. Ah, <sighs> ooh, ah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what any of this shit means. Oh my god, that guy has a badass bow. It's, a, it's like an assault rifle. Dang, you're awesome, Hank. Or Hark. <laughs> Hank Hill. He's the best. He's the best at what he does. I'm just hungry, man. Can somebody, like, give me some food or something? Yeah, we're on the same team, bruh. Please don't assault me with your fucking machine gun. Your machine gun! Starving. Alright, eat some... Eat some whatevers. I need to go hunting. I need to go hunting. I assume it's just like rest, okay? We're gonna go hunting. We're going to uh, shoot an animal in the face and then collect its delicious meat and organs, roast them slowly over a fire, and consume them. Consume! This is a frabbit. All right. It seems like we're gonna need a lot more arrows than I have to kill it, though. Can I get like a low-level animal? I'm, I'm gonna starve to death. That's what it is. That's that's how the first episode always ends in these fucking survival games. They're like, well, did you have a, a good time? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Just murder this thing. We're starving now. I'm starving so much that I'm missing a whole bunch. Please be dead. Am I going to die first, or is he going to die first? I think it's me. It's always been me. Okay, cool. He's dead now. Ah, ah crap. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Like I said, it's, that's just always how it goes. But we learned some stuff, so I guess that's important. Holy shit. This is uh, our stronghold, I suppose. I don't know what's supposed to go on here. It seems pretty important. But yeah, as with most uh, survival games, I lost all my shit. Back to zero. All that bow and hammer and all this crap is, is gone. Maybe I can get back to my corpse or something like that. But again, I don't really, uh, I don't really know where where it is or how to open the map so oh my god what's that noise what just happened somebody's building a wall it just got 10 feet higher it just got 10 feet higher am i now trapped oh there's an exit we gotta go back into the world we gotta do a thing maybe perhaps ah. Well, I'll probably be back to Rend at some point. It's kind of cool, but yeah, it, it hurts to lose all your stuff. You don't want to lose all your stuff, for God's sake. Anyways, friends, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. That is always, always appreciated. Uh, we've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of the DMs, I'd appreciate that quite a little bit. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Nico the Legend and MMX Akira for supporting us on Patreon currently. Um, we'll be back to Rend, I do promise it. It's a relatively new game and relatively promising. So yeah, I really like the, the style and the idea is pretty cool if I can get into the swing of things. I might have to practice up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, once again, friends, this has been Rend. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye.
hope I see you, my friends.